Welcome guys, I'm going to be showing you how to connect an actual URL domain into your Shopify. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is to have a Shopify account already been created. So as you can see, here is my Shopify website. I'm going to hit now into my settings. And here I have the actual domains into the down here. So as you can see, currently my existing domain is named sophias slash 8870.myshopify.com. So if you want to change a new myshopify.com domain, you can choose this option. And of course, since this is from my Shopify, it won't cost us absolutely anything. But you wanted to connect an existing domain that we already have. So I'm going to choose connect existing domain. And here into the domain, you want to choose the domain that you already have to currently have. In my case, I do have a domain uh, bought from Namecheap. So here into Namecheap is actually really, really great to buy almost any kind. So let's say the actual store's name Sophia's. I'm going to hit now into search and it's going to be looking for the best domains and the best prices for this actual domain. So as you can see, I have the Sophia's.lat for only $1.8 per year, I think is like really, really a great offer. That's the reason why I totally suggest you to buy your domains from Namecheap. In my case, I bought this one. So I, for example, I have this Poke Shop done clicked and what I need to do is to hit into manage. So it doesn't matter where you actually bought your domain, you need to find the advanced DNS NS tools in order to edit here your type of domain. In my case, I'm gonna click into Poke Shop done clicked I'm going to go back into my Shopify and click this option, hit into next. And it's going to be appearing the follow the setting instructions. I'm going to hit into verify connections. And as you can see, you have an A record, a C name and add domain. So I'm going to go and go all the way up. And I want to do is to copy these required values. And what I need to do is to create a new section of an A record name at and currently IP address which is empty and the required value. So I want to do this into my advanced DNLs tools. So we're going to go into add new record. I need to choose a record. Remember this is add and where it says IP address. I want to paste this address and hit into save changes and do exactly the same process. So remember this is a CN name. Uh, a host is triple W and this one is shops.myshopify.com. After that, hit into save changes and then you can go back here and choose to verify the connection. After that, you can try to look out in my case, let's say for example, pocket shop, po for example, pocket shop that I clicked and automatically this one is going to be sending me into my actual website of Shopify. In my case, I believe this one is not enabled yet because as you can see, I have nothing created into this actual online store, but this is how we can do this. It's really, really easy to process. And just in case you have any question, just in case you have any issue, you just need to wait a few minutes and then reload the page and try this again, just to make sure that all your actions should be now, now ready. And lastly, guys, just in case that you've already managed to buy a domain through Namecheap. If you go directly from the advanced DNS settings, we have a DNS template that we can use if you have a Shopify, a Webly or a Wix account. Really, really easy the process. And as you can see, it didn't take us like a lot of time. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools about this actual uh, domain listing process of the Shopify. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. See you next time.